Hey everyone, this is Mike at Sweetbriar Farm. And I just had a question on our Facebook page about uh, the bees. I posted a picture of the bees uh, today. I took the honey supers, supers off and I'm getting them ready for winter. So um, the question was if the bees just stay in the hive all winter long. And the answer, short answer to that is yes. So um, I'll talk a little bit more about what I'm doing for the winter. So I took, I think, uh, equivalent of four or five boxes of honey off the top of these hives. So in general, the two bottom boxes are what we refer to as brood boxes. That's where the queen will lay the eggs and uh, the worker bees will um, feed the larva and then cap the larva and um, Eventually the young bees will hatch out of those cells and freeze them up for the queen to lay more eggs. Um, typically above the two bottom boxes we refer to those boxes as honey supers and the honey supers is where the bees will store honey. Now there's going to be honey all throughout this hive usually on the ends and then um, they usually kind of make a dome of where they they lay the eggs and then the honey is on the edge the, um, the frames will also be packed some of them will be packed with pollen um, which um, the bees make what's referred to as bee bread and uh, it's a protein source for the for the bees so it's early september um, Last year I was lazy and I did not take care of my bees in the fall. So um, in a few weeks here I'll be feeding them a two to one sugar syrup just so they pack this these hives full of, of, of honey, um, which um, should get them through the, the winter time. Um, one of the things that I do is I have these screened tops here and it kind of works like a uh, attic system and provides ventilation. So what I'll do is I'll put some burlap um, in the top that will absorb the moisture and uh, the holes here will screen, uh, uh, allow airflow in and that moisture will dry out. I can also use this top area here to put um, sugar or pollen patties on um, in case they need it early in the in the springtime if they don't have enough food stores. Um, one of the problems I had this this spring, um, I did have bees beehives that made it through March, which in this part of the country is the time of year that you want your bees to survive because usually you can get in, feed them, and whatnot. Um, but uh, we had a cold March and we had a very cold April which resulted in me losing all my bees. So this winter or this fall I'm getting them ready a little bit earlier um, and uh, hopefully they are strong enough to make it through the hives or through the winter. So just judging looking at the number of bees on the front of these hives and then in the top here there oh, almost got stung mm -hmm. so judging by the number of bees here uh, these these hives are very strong right now going into fall one of the things that I also do this time of year is I treat them for varroa mites varroa mites are these tiny little um, bugs that will attach themselves to the bees and they can transmit disease uh, and weaken the hives. So the vir varroa mites are one of the leading causes of uh, uh, colony losses over winter because the bees can get sick and die. I use a product called Apivar which is uh, the active ingredient it's called Amitraz. It's the same type of uh, chemical that you would find on a flea collar for a dog. So the nice thing about Apivar is it kills the mites that are on the bees um, and then it also will kill the mites within brood cells so um, the varroa mites tend to lay, well, will live inside of the brood cells and lay eggs on the developing bees 
um, so the young bees um, will come emerge from their cells and uh, have those mites on them and can you know basically um, be sickly right away so the apivar is like a 40-day treatment so I'll take the strips out in about 40 days I think it's 40 days um, and then they should be all set for for winter now one of the interesting things about bees is that um, in the winter time is they do not defecate in the hive so on warm days usually you know if there's this 40 degree day uh, the bees will do what they call a cleansing flight and they will fly out in the in, the, in their snow on the ground and they will go outside the hive to use the bathroom basically so you will see like yellow spots all over the snow um, and usually in Michigan winters uh, there's times of the the winter that um, they're able to do that but last winter we had such a cold winter I don't think they had that opportunity until um, March in my neck of the woods anyway um, that's just a little bit about my winter setup um, I don't wrap the hives with anything I might um, uh, pile manure along the, the back here as a wind block um, I have some foam boards that I might set up along the back of them I haven't really decided what I'll do um, but uh, usually I have the bees facing south this year I have them facing east uh, because we do get the uh, majority of the winds out of the north and, and, and west so um, we'll see what happens I've, I haven't kept bees facing this way but they seem to be doing just fine and uh, hopefully this winter they will do just fine as well and um, early spring I'll make splits if they survive and um, basically I double my uh, apiary um, from from these bees that I currently have so I don't want to get as big as what I had in the past I had over 30 hives last year in 2021 and that was way too much uh, work for me but uh, I started with four packages of bees this hive here the queen died right away so I actually just combined those those bees into the, another box and um, kind of increase the population of that uh, hive called bears bees um, but with the packages so packages of the bees what I'm referring to is I ordered bees out of this company in Georgia they send um, I think there were three pound packages of bees with a queen in them um, I have a video earlier there's lots of beekeeping videos about how to install package bees I have one um, and how I did it from the spring but anyway um, I've got about eight boxes nine boxes of honey from these bees this summer which is really good for package bees for the first year one of the reasons why they were able to give me so much honey is because they had I had drawn uh, comb um, where if you start with undrawn comb like it would look like this there's no uh, just like a plastic frame with um, uh, no wax on them uh, it takes a lot of the uh, energy of the hive to m build that comb before they actually are then able to store excess honey so um, having the drawn comb having a good year for um, uh, as far as uh, pollinating or uh, nectar producing plants uh, this is a really good area for uh, honey production so We've got alfalfa fields which um, have flowered. We have uh, basswoods in the uh, forest here, which is a big uh, source of honey in Michigan. And uh, wherever else they're getting the nectar, I don't know, but uh, we've had a pretty decent year and happy with what we got so far. I still need to extract the honey. I'll probably be doing that this week and uh, show you a little bit of that footage from that.
five deep boxes and four medium boxes that I'll be extracting the honey from for uh, 2022. We'll see what we end up with. So after I extract the honey, I put the boxes out here and the bees clean up the rest. So hopefully you learned a little bit of something about how I overwinter my bees. Um, I've been doing this since 2019, that was my first year. Uh, last year was the first year that I had 100% loss of, of my, my uh, apiary. Um, the other years I had really good survival rates. Um, but like I said, last last fall I was lazy and I didn't take care of my bees, so um, I blame myself. Um, so I'm starting early this year, getting them ready. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.